Praise Lord Church, good evening. Hope all of you are doing well. Hope you had a good week so far. Uh, today we will be praying, um, we'll be meditating on the word and praying for the salvation of our loved ones. And um, uh, I will show you, I have sent you the uh, the prayer that we are going to pray at the end of the uh, uh, meditation of, uh, of the word. And then I want you to fill in the lab, uh, fill in the blanks, and then uh, uh, you know, uh, pray alongside. We will all agree as a church and pray, and God will answer these prayers. Suppose uh, in the prayer, in the confessions, praise and worship, I have uh, written in the point two. Uh, suppose I am praying for, uh, say, let's say a person uh, named uh, Suresh. So this is how I, I want you to pray. Write down your own names, whom you want to pray. For uh, uh, for the uh, for the time factor, because we are going to go through quickly, I want you to write one or two names so that when we pray, we are going to pray. And after that, you can follow that. You can follow the pattern and then pray uh, for your uh, loved ones and uh, friends or relatives. So I'll just show you an example. Uh, let's say uh, in point two, uh, in in uh, point two, uh, we are praying for Suresh. Suppose we are praying for Suresh. Father, in the name of Jesus, give unto Suresh the spirits of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you. So that's how we are going to pray. right? Suppose we are praying for Suresh, we will say that let every stronghold of the enemy barricading the mind of Suresh uh, from receiving the Lord be pulled down in Jesus' name. That's how we are going to pray. So this is an example. So we will meditate on the word first. So uh, let's turn to Acts 16.31 uh, and uh, we, will, uh, we, uh, we, will, we will read the word. Acts 16 verse 31. So they said, believe on the Lord Jesus and uh, you will be saved, you and your household. Remember, it is a plan of God that our entire house be saved. Right? It's just not you. If, he, if you are the one whom God has chosen in your home, then uh, he, it means uh, that uh, God has a plan for uh, your entire household. So uh, Jesus tells us to pray uh, that our joy may be full. So he tells us to, uh, when he's teaching, he tells us, uh, uh, pray that your joy may be full. Our joy is full when our uh, uh, loved ones are also in the Lord and uh, they are going, uh, uh, they are going to stay with the Lord forever as uh, as we are, uh, as we are going, as we are. And our joy can be full when we, uh, when we are able to pray for the salvation of our uh, loved ones, whether it is friends, uh, whether it is relatives, whether it is closed loved ones who have, who are yet to uh, come to the come to the Lord? So we will be praying for them today. Now, when we are praying for them, we ourselves first need to understand from the Word of God how to pray. Uh, so when we have a scriptural foundation, and uh, um, and then we know how to pray effectively for our loved ones. And I'm sure that as we pray this, as we pray uh, individually and uh, as, a, as a church, God will give tremendous breakthroughs uh, in, uh, and uh, we will see the manifestation uh, 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 and answering uh, answers to our prayers. So we will turn to 2 Corinthians uh, uh, 4, 4. And um, uh, if uh, some of you who don't have, who have only one mobile and uh, who do not have uh, the, the prayers that I have sent simultaneously watching this, it will keep coming on the screen. Every prayer will keep coming on the screen, so it will be easy when you when you pray. So don't worry about that. It will keep coming on the screen when, when you have to pray, the prayer points. So 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. So what happens, what is the state of an individual who has not come to the Lord yet? What is the state of that person? The state of that person who has not come to the uh, Lord or who doesn't believe in the Bible. See, there are some people who have heard the Bi who have heard the uh, gospel, who say who say that they have given their heart to Christ, and yet they don't believe what the Bible tells. So, uh, the, what? Let's see what the word says. Second Corinthians four four. Whose minds the God of this uh, age has blinded? Remember, the blindness is in the mind. And so, even though they see through the eyes, they won't be able to process because processing takes place in the mind. And whose minds the God of this age has blinded who do not believe, lest the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine upon them. So, what does it say? The, the mind is blinded. What happens when the mind is blinded? The light of the gospel of uh, Jesus Christ who is the image of God does not shine upon them. 
that is the reason they are not able to see christ as who he is so we need to understand this satan is the uh, god of this age god of this world and he has blinded many people he has blinded people with uh, many things uh, important things out of them are uh, money sex and position these are the things that uh, normally people are blinded with money sex and positions their social status so uh, his major satan's major weapon is deception see he always deceives that is 100% he's a he's a deceiver 100% so he would make a person feel that uh, what he has to offer is better than what god has to offer you understand so what does he what, what is a, uh, uh, what does he make a person feel he makes a person feel that what satan is offering to that person is greater than what god has to offer that is the reason why they don't believe in god or they don't believe in the truth and they stay away from god so as a, a person who knows the lord you as a person who knows the lord i as a person who knows the lord when you are dealing with an unbeliever so you should understand what is the status of that person right and he has somehow he is number one he is blinded uh, in in his mind so he doesn't know the importance of christ second he feels he has sold uh, he has bought actually he has bought the lie the uh, uh, satan has told him that satan offers greater things than what god offers and also the deception is when satan offers some things he is offering without accountability that's why many people want to follow satan because there is no accountability right so uh, that is uh, these are the reasons that uh, you should know when you are praying unfortunately many have fallen uh, to the trap of the uh, enemy many have fallen to the trap of the en enemy they have become uh, they have become blind to the love of god and sacrifice uh, uh, his uh, and who has sacrificed his only begotten son i repeat they have become blind to the truth of the love of god who has sacrificed his only begotten son for our redemption the truth is blinded for them all they care about all the person who is not yet come to the lord all they care about is what they want now and what they can achieve here on earth this is what they are concerned about what can i get now and what i can achieve on earth right the spirit of acquisition not accusation acquisition that means i want it now i want it now i want it now that is the that is the kind of a spirit that they are they have sold themselves to right or they are in bondage uh, to uh, they don't even believe in the living god so when you have this spirit of acquisition acquisition means uh, uh, I to, as i've told you i want it now i want to acquire right i want to acquire i want to acquire i want to possess right now i want to possess right so uh, as you truly uh, pray um, with these things in 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 mind and uh, uh, we are going to read the portions of scripture when you have a foundation to pray when you when uh, your uh, prayer is based on a solid foundation of the word of god then you have substance in your prayer you will exactly know what uh, uh, what to pray for what to war with uh, uh, the weapons that you have and the and the confessions that uh, and the promises the word of god gives uh, give, gives us so uh, uh, um, as as we as we pray with our heart as we pray with our heart every blindfold will be removed in jesus name every blindness will be dealt with as we pray right now uh, every blindness will be dealt with every that the blindfold or the blindness that is caused by the god of this age will be broken will be will rebuke that blindness uh, and all the lies uh, that he has told them will be exposed what happens in a prayer prayer like this is uh, when you are praying for your loved one when you are praying for the salvation of your loved one what happens when you are praying with foundation what is what is happening is the lies surface the lies that satan has told that person whom we are going to pray for that person the lies that satan has spoken will surface he will be able to see why because the blindness has gone he will be able to see the lies that satan has been speaking to him right so that is what is going to happen one uh, as we collectively 
together we are going to we are going to pray for that for that person the lord will dispel every darkness in their lives so that the light will start shining upon them and what happens when a blind man uh, becomes a, a, a man with the sight when he receives his sight what happens is he will be able to distinguish things he will be able to see clearly this is what is going to uh, going to happen as we as we pray we will read the, the portions of scripture i want you to be very uh, attentive to this because this is going to be the foundation on which we are going to stand and then we we war with the enemy and free our uh, uh, our uh, our beloved ones Ephesians uh, 1 uh, 16 to 23 we are going to read considerably long uh, uh, portions of scripture so I want you to follow if you love your loved one uh, you need to uh, you need to stand on the scripture and then uh, uh, and then war against the enemy of their souls right Ephesians 1 16 to 23 i'm going to read do not cease to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayers so uh, paul is telling i i do not cease to thank you thank for you and uh, i keep men mentioning you in my prayers this is paul writing to the church of ephesians verse 17 that the god of our lord jesus christ the father of uh, glory may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power uh, towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power which he worked in christ while he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in the heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this age uh, not only in this age but also in that which is to come verse 22 and he put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church which is his body the fullness of him who fills all in all right so it is very clearly mentioned when the eyes of our understanding are enlightened they are opened and uh, and the wisdom comes uh, comes into us the blindness goes and the wisdom comes uh, what happens then we will be able to see clearly then we will be able to see who christ is then we will be able to relate to him then we will be able to love him uh, more that is that is what paul is telling and writing writing this we will also read ephesians uh, uh, 3 uh, 14 to 21 the same book, uh, third chapter, 14 to 20, 21. Paul writes, uh, For this reason I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might through his spirit, spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, and that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the width the length and depth and height to know the love of christ which passes knowledge that you may be filled with the fullness of god so what he's what he's telling is number one he's telling us that the whole family the whole family the family that has come into the fold the whole family we have one surname right that is exactly what he's telling we are uh, individually uh, born of uh, uh, god the father and uh, and that is that is that is who we are so what is uh, uh, what he's t uh, telling uh, telling is he's clearly telling the uh, the the passion of the father the uh, the interest of son uh, jesus jesus christ uh, and the working of the holy spirit uh, inside inside us when you allow him when uh, the, our inner man is strengthened when the person whom we are praying that his inner man is strengthened uh, by the by the holy spirit uh, then uh, what happens that uh, christ may dwell in his heart through faith and then he being rooted in god's love so a person who is uh, uh, whose inner man is strengthened by the holy spirit uh, a person who's uh, in whose uh, christ dwells uh, in in whom christ dwells or in his in whose heart christ dwells and uh, he if he is rooted in uh, in uh, is grounded in love is rooted uh, rooted in in love 
then he will be able to understand why a person loves Jesus Christ. Then he will be able to understand you who loves Jesus Christ. Suppose there is a there is a child, there is a there is a spouse uh, who doesn't believe in uh, uh, in Jesus Christ, and you believe in Jesus Jesus Christ, and there is a conflict that is going on. She doesn't understand uh, why you love Jesus Christ because of the factors that we have just discussed. And now, when you are able to pray, uh, pray, and when we are collectively praying as a church when you are able to pray and when the working of the holy spirit takes place then she will be able to understand why you love jesus christ or it is just the same if it is the husband who is unbelieving and you are uh, you are praying for your husband or if uh, you are parents you are praying praying for your children or if you are friends praying for friends or brothers uh, who whoever it is this is the reason why people don't understand why someone can love uh, love jesus christ more than anything else because uh, they just simply do not understand and uh, uh, verse 20 uh, i'm reading ephesians 3 verse 20 now to him who is able to exceedingly abundantly above all the that we ask or think according to the power that works in us to him be the glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever uh, listen to this church very clearly if you if uh, the 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 meaning of the verse which is uh, quoted very often in various uh, different ways uh, uh, mostly misunderstood verse 20 which tells us uh, which, uh, which tells us if you allow the Spirit of God to work in your uh, life, then what happens? The, the, the power of God is working in, in our lives. Then he is able to, uh, when you ask, he is able to give exceedingly abundantly. Um, it's, these are funny words, you know. Abundant itself is, is, is very, very big, abundantly. Now he's telling uh, exceedingly is another superlative, right? He's talking about exceedingly and then he's talking about abundantly right and uh, uh, these are these are two only uh, god can use such uh, such uh, uh, words or those who inspired by god can use such words exceedingly and abundantly and and then he uses the word above all first of all abundantly is 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 abundant and then he's telling exceedingly abundant and then that is not enough exceedingly abundant and above all that is what so he goes on to exp uh, uh, you know, uh, he's going. To, he just expands to uh, uh, expands in such a way that he he says, "This is how much right God is interested in answering your prayer." So that is what uh, we are going to we are going to uh, we uh, we are going to see as we pray for our uh, loved ones, right? And uh, I want each one to have this foundation. I want uh, each one uh, while we are meditating on this. Uh, tell this to the Holy Spirit who is there with you, Spirit of God. I allow you. I just give you complete, uh, Lord, Lord, freedom, oh God, to work completely in my life in in a, in a way that you want, uh, Lord, uh, Lord. I su I submit myself to you. Work in me. I declare your sovereignty, Spirit of God, in my life. Work in me in such a way that when I pray, God is able to ah, uh, God God is able to answer me exceedingly, abundantly, above all more than what i can think or imagine he's able to answer me so spirit of god please work in my in, in my life please work in my life unhindered unhindered i don't want to cause any hindrances to your work in my life let that be your prayer as we uh, as we continue to meditate on god's word psalm 21 verse 2 psalm 21 verse 2 uh, you have given him his heart's desire and uh, have not withheld the request of his lips so uh, it is it is God's desire, right? It's a, uh, it's a God's desire to see that your desires are fulfilled. So there are hundreds of promises in the in the in the Bible where uh, God promises that He will give you your heart's desire. So you should have the confidence that uh, when I'm praying for my beloved one, it is it is God's perfect desire to answer this prayer. Psalm 86 verse 16. O turn to me, and have mercy on me. Give your strength. Uh, to your to your servant and save the son of your maid servant right here is uh, um, uh, here is uh, uh, the psalmist uh, psalmist praying and telling telling uh, telling god about uh, about his own mother telling that uh, lord my mother is 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 your servant uh, servant too and i am am his son save me I'm praying for the salvation salvation here and um, so when you are uh, praying, when you are praying, suppose you are praying uh, for your for your own son, uh, for your own son. If you are a mother, you are praying for your son or a daughter. Speak out to this, God. I am serving you. 
right? I am serving. If you're praying for your friend, uh, tell God that God, I'm, I'm, I'm in your service. If you're, if you're a pastor, if you, whoever you are, like to, because you know the know who God is and you are, you are serving Him. Tell God, God, I'm serving you. I'm serving you. And as, as I'm serving you, I'm asking you. I'm asking you for my brother, my friend, my sister, my mother, my father, my my wife, my husband, whomever that is, and uh, and and pray. Tell tell who uh, tell that. Confess that who you are. Isaiah 49 verse 25. But thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible will uh, be uh, or prey of the terrible be delivered. For I will contend with him who contends with you, and I will save your children. He says uh, this is a promise for your children. Your children, God, God tells, I will. Whoever that is, whoever is holding your children in bondage. Whoever is, uh, whoever is holding, I said, I don't care who holds your children in, in, in bondage. I will contend, right? I will contend with him who contends with you and I will save your children. This is a promise every father, every mother can claim for their children and uh, you can pray for your child and say, God, you said you're going to uh, contend with those. So my, my son, my daughter is in different, this kind of bondages. I want those bondages to break. And it is very tough for me to deal with those bondages. God, I want you to intervene because you promised. I said, you will save my child Lord, and my children. Here is the promise I'm standing on. Pray for your children if uh, your children are in uh, some kind of a, some kind of a bondage. And uh, this is uh, this is one of my favorite verses. I pray every day. Uh, I and my wife pray for our children every single day. We pray for our children almost every single. As far as I remember, we pray this every single day. Isaiah 54 verse 13. We pray this for our children every, every uh, all, almost every day. And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. Now here is God's promise. He says, uh, my ch I pray my children will be taught by God and uh, their peace shall be great. We pray this over our children every single day. Uh, as I've told you, almost every single day, we, pr we pray this over our children. Great shall be the peace of my children because uh, all my children will be taught. Not one will be lost. Not one will be lost. All my children will be taught by the Lord and because they are taught by the Lord, great shall be their peace. Great, great shall be their peace. Uh, their peace. So pray if you are parents, uh, you, uh, I, uh, I suggest as underline this, my, make a marker, pray for, your, uh, pray for your children. Isaiah 54 verse 13. Now we have a fairly a large portion of uh, scripture. Now we are entering into uh, spiritual warfare uh, uh, and uh, this is what, this is a tough scripture to pray. The, the scripture that we are going to read right now, it's a tough scripture to pray. You have to hold your heart in uh, uh, firmly in the uh, firmly and in the presence of God uh, you you are going to see now we are going to read the portion of scripture which is going to be tough right and uh, when you confess this now you are confessing see when you are confessing this this is not uh, you are not being enemy to your wife or your children or your spouse or your parents or your friends you're not an enemy but see you are praying this prayer what we are going to pray what we are going to read the portion of scripture now we are going to pray so that they are saved, right? Uh, they, are, they are saved. So uh, uh, it may look like tough. It may look like uh, you are pronouncing something. Yes, you are going to pronounce something, but for the welfare of uh, the people, right? Welfare. You don't want uh, uh, that person to uh, uh, reject God and then uh, end up in hell. That is why you are praying this prayer. Hosea 6, uh, 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 Hosea 2, Hosea, Hosea, uh, whatever that you want to call, Hosea 2, uh, 6 uh, to 15. 6 through 15, we are going to read this. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up your way with thorns and wall her in so that she cannot find her paths. She will chase her lovers, but uh, not overtake them. Yes, she will seek them, but will not find them. Then she will say, I will go and return to my first husband, for then it was better for me than now. For she did not know that I gave her grain, new wine and oil, and multiplied her silver and gold, which they prepared for Baal. Therefore, I will return and take away my grain in its time and my new wine in its season, and take back my wool and my linen, given to cover her nakedness. Now I will cover her lewdness in the sight of her lovers and no one shall be, no one shall deliver her 
from from my hand i will also cause her cause all her mirth to cease her feast days her new moons her sabbaths all her appointed feasts and i will destroy her vines and her fig trees of which she say, she has said these are my wages that my lovers uh, uh, my lovers have given me so i will make them a forest and the beasts of the field shall eat them i will punish her for the days of the balls to which she burned incense she decked herself uh, with her earrings and uh, jewelry and went after her lovers but she forgot says the lord therefore behold i will allure her will bring her into the wilderness and will uh, and speak comfort to her i will give her her vineyards from there and the valley of achor as the door of hope she shall sing there as the days of her youth as in the day when she came up from the land of egypt now this is a, this is what a god has spoken so this is the premise right this is the premise on which you are going to uh, you are going to see uh, what your husband does and what your wife does what your children are doing what your parents are doing god is watching god is watching why is he telling this uh, scripture to us because he tells us by this scripture that he is watching and if you pray and he is he is telling you how he is going to intervene how he is going to interrupt and how he is going to act how he is going to shape how he is going to guide uh, the person whom you are praying for and if, and at the end of it bring her uh, or him to, uh, to 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 salvation so that that person is not lost and uh, would be able to spend uh, spend time in eternity with god as you are going as you are going to spend so it becomes our responsibility knowing that our god is so wonderful that uh, uh, that he's looking at the people he is looking at you and then seeing uh, seeing how you are going to respond see whenever you confront the truth it becomes a responsibility when you know the truth then you you are given a responsibility of how you are going to handle the truth and then what uh, how you are going to deal with the truth that you that you know because if you heard the truth and then if you received the truth the truth has set you free now if you having received the truth are set free then it is becomes your responsibility also to see the other people who are in bondage and uh, and and take the responsibility of them and then pray them through right not just pray for them pray them through and uh, and ask god to intervene ask god to interrupt ask god to come inside the situation enter into their life uh, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and and do the things that only he can do in their life so that at the end of it they may find god right it is uh, it, it is uh, it is it is very important now i want you to uh, uh, to turn to the prayers that i have i have sent now with the premise of all these things now you have you and i have scriptural foundation you know what the enemy has done that he has blinded he has kept people captive he has uh, kept them from knowing the lord and now you also know what the interest of god is what god can do how god can intervene how god can interrupt how god can uh, intervene in a life of a person whom you are going to whom you are going to intercede and whom you are going to pray and uh, so remember this is this is war the souls of people are in captivity and then you and i have been given the power and god is standing by us and he is uh, he is looking at us and as we fulfill our responsibility so it's a time of joy for us it's an absolute time of joy and then uh, as we pray we will pray now in sequence right in sequence we are going to pray and then uh, we are going to we are going to uh, collectively remember uh, we are we are praying individually when we are praying collectively as a church you should know the power that is given to the church right the power that is given to you as an individual the power to uh, that is given to us when we come together in agreement the power that is given to the church right as the church comes in comes together it is tremendous power that uh, that is available to us right now the anointing is there the presence of god is there and now we pray in agreement right now i'm i'm going to uh, pray for my uh, beloved friend in mind i'm going to pray uh, pray uh, uh, keeping keeping him in mind 
uh, i'm going to pray, i'm going to pray for pray for him and then while you pray for for your remember in all these things we are we are agreeing together right i'm keeping my beloved uh, friend uh, fawaz in in mind and then i'm praying for him and you add your own names right uh, for those who have joined in late i will just explain to you um, uh, the the way that we are going to pray uh, let's say point number 2 father in the name of jesus christ i i'm praying for fawaz okay father in the name of jesus christ uh, um, in the name of jesus give unto fawaz the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you right this is how i'm going to pray and you can add your own names right so first of all we will thank god we'll begin with thanking god father in the name of jesus christ we just thank you oh god thank you thank you thank you for everything oh god thank you for the life that you have given to us father it is this is the life that is given by you this is the life that is given by you so god it is uh, it is uh, uh, this life has to reflect your heart oh god this life has to reflect your heart your heart oh god your heart alone master your heart alone and you love the people oh god you love all of us you love all of us incredible love uh, lord with incredible love oh god lord that you love us so we thank you for our lives and lord i thank uh, while as a, as a church we are all going to agree and we pray for the salvation of our beloved uh, beloved ones uh, i'm also praying for uh, one of my friend i do not want to uh, name um, name uh, pronounce the names but he wanted me to pray for uh, him and his uh, wife and his uh, only daughter so i'm going to we're going to pray for for him also keeping keeping that in in mind now we will pray uh, from the point number 2 i want it as it comes on the screen we'll agree and pray father in the name of jesus christ give unto fawaz o god the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you i pray in the name of jesus christ the spirit of knowledge and the revelation lord come upon him in jesus name in jesus name let every stronghold of the enemy barricading the mind of fawaz in the name of jesus christ from uh, receiving the rec from receiving the lord be pulled down in the name of jesus christ we pulled pull down the stronghold that is barricading him to come to the lord come to the lord in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ we pull down stronghold church agree and pull down the strongholds around uh, around that beloved one in the name of jesus christ to oh god i pull down every stronghold of false religion lord of false thoughts oh god lord lord a uh, low thoughts about himself oh god in the name of jesus christ we bind we break we break and uh, i pull down oh god strongholds around uh, fawaz oh god in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ let all the hindrances point number four let all the hindrances coming between the heart of fawaz and the gospel be melted away by the fire of the holy spirit in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ let all hindrances coming in between the heart of fawaz and the gospel be melted by the fire of the holy spirit in jesus name church i don't want anyone to be quiet if you have a beloved one i want you to pray open your mouth agree and pray this is the time that let there be agreement in the in, in the in the church every one of us every one of us father in the name of jesus christ father in jesus name point number 5 in the name of jesus i bind the strong man attached to the life of fawaz to keeping for keeping him from receiving jesus christ as his lord and savior in jesus name i bind that strong man i bind the strong man lord whether it is religion whether it is social status whether it is money whether it is his own problems lord whatever the strong man is in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ we bind i bind the strong man oh god in jesus name i bind the strong man in jesus in jesus name in the name of jesus christ my lord and my savior i bind that strong man lord i pray now i pray build the hedge of thorns around uh, uh, fawaz oh god build a hedge of thorns so that he turns to the lord in jesus name he turns to you oh god in the name of jesus christ build a hedge of thorns around him oh god build a hedge of thorns around him that he may turn to you oh god that he may turn to you in jesus name that he may turn to you in jesus name oh god in the name of jesus christ that he may turn to you all the children 
who have been dedicated to the Lord and, uh, to, and to have become bound, be loosed in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for all children of God. Lord, all children, all children. Lord, everyone who has a child here and who is a child himself. Lord, if I pray for everyone listening, O oh God. Everyone listening. If they have been dedicated, O oh God. If they have been dedicated, Lord, if they have been dedicated, Lord, to, to any other God. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray such dedication be broken in Jesus' name. And Lord, I now, oh God, dedicate them to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I dedicate them to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I dedicate them to you. Lord, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I dedicate them to you, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, we also pray for the, all the children who are dedicated to you and they are bound, O oh God. Lord, who are dedicated to you and, they're, and they are bound. Lord, I pray for them in the name of Jesus Christ. As a church, we pray for them in the name of Jesus Christ. These are the children who have been dedicated to you, but they have become bound because of many other many things, either by themselves or, or different bondages that they have, uh, they have got themselves involved to. We break that in the name of Jesus Christ. We break that, be loosed in Jesus' name. Be loosed in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break the curse placed on Pavaz, binding him from receiving the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break every curse that is placed on Pavaz, binding him from receiving the Lord in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I break that curse. You spirit of death and hell, release Pawaz now in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to you, you spirit of hell. Every spirit that is binding his soul, holding his soul in captivity, I bind and I rebuke you in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, that his soul may be freed in Jesus' name. Every desire of the enemy on the soul of Fawaz will not prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Every desire of the enemy on the soul of Fawaz will not prosper. I speak in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak in Jesus' name. None of your desires will prosper over his soul. None of your desire will prosper over his soul. Your spirit of destruction Release Fawaz in Jesus' name. You spirit of destruction, I speak to you. I speak to you in Jesus' name. Release him in Jesus' name. I bind every spirit of mind blindness in the life of Fawaz in the name of Jesus Christ and I rebuke you out of his life in Jesus' name. Every spirit of mind blindness, I bind you I rebuke you, I cast you out of Fawaz's life in Jesus' name. Lord, I give you praise. I give you praise, O God. I give you praise. I give you praise, Father. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. Father, I give you praise. I give you praise. Let there be no peace or rest in the mind of Fawaz until he surrenders to the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I speak these words. Not that my friend should be tormented in any way, but I pray, Lord, the true rest comes only when, uh, when, when they come into your fold, O oh God. Lord, I speak in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak, let there be no peace or rest in his mind until he surrenders to Lord Jesus Christ. Bondage and lukewarmness and perdition be released for us now in Jesus' name. Spirit of bondage, lukewarmness and perdition. I command you to release for us in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, open the eyes of Fawaz to his own spiritual condition in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for my friend, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, open his eyes, O God. Open his eyes. Open, open his eyes, O God, to his own spiritual condition. In Jesus' name I pray. Because Lord, when one comes in, in front of the truth, O God, Lord, 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 he realizes and it is only the truth that has the power 
So I pray, Father, I pray that you would open his eyes to his own spiritual condition. In Jesus' name, let's continue to pray. Lord, send people across the path of Fawaz who can share the gospel with him. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, O oh God, send people across his path that who would share the gospel with him. And Spirit of God, we pray that you would convict him of sin. You would convict him of sin, O oh God, of righteousness and judgment. Spirit of God, that you would do that, O oh God, that you would do that. Father, let spiritual blindness be erased from the life of Fawaz in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Father, let the spiritual blindness be erased from his mind, O oh God. Spiritual blindness be erased from the life of Fawaz, O oh God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, grant Fawaz repentance leading to a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Father, we pray. Lord, Lord, I pray, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Grant him, O oh God, grant Fawaz, Lord, repentance leading to personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come against the powers of darkness, binding and holding Fawaz back from receiving the gospel. In Jesus' name. 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 Father, grant. Father, I come against the powers of darkness binding and holding Fawaz back from receiving the gospel in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Thank you. I command you, you spirit of air, to lose your hold on Fawaz so that he will be free to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You spirit of the power of air, lose right now. Lose your hold in Jesus' name. I command you in Jesus' name to lose your hold. To lose your hold in the name of Jesus Christ. I tear down, smash every stronghold of deception, keeping Fawaz in the enemy's camp in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Father. Yes, Lord. I tear down and I smash every stronghold of deception, keeping Fawaz in the enemy's camp in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Every stronghold of deception be broken. Every stronghold of deception be broken in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, reveal to me other strongholds that need to be broken in the life of uh, Fawaz in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Church, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, the Spirit of God will reveal to you any other stronghold in your beloved loved one, beloved loved one, friends or relatives. Lord, Spirit of God, I pray that you would bring forth, Lord, you would bring, Lord, you would reveal any other stronghold. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bind the spirit of deception of this false religion which is binding his emotions. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. I rebuke you, spirit of deception, leave him in Jesus' name. This spirit of Antichrist that doesn't make him confess that Jesus Christ as Lord, I bind you, I rebuke you from his life in Jesus' name. You spirit of Antichrist, leave in Jesus' name. He will confess that God has a son and son has come into this world in flesh, showed the way, shed his blood, died on the cross, was buried and rose on the third day. God's only begotten Son, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who has conquered sin and death. Yes, he will confess this. He will confess this. And you, Spirit of Antichrist, I bind and rebuke you from his life in Jesus' name. From his life in Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray, let Fawaz come from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Lord. In Jesus' name. Lord, let Fawaz come, O oh God. Come from the kingdom of darkness into your marvelous light. For your word says, Father, 
it is you who brings us from darkness into your marvelous light. Let that happen to my friend, Tawazukat. In Jesus' name, Lord. In Jesus' name, let him come out of every darkness into your marvelous light. Lord, let your plan and purpose for the life of uh, Fawaz prevail. Yes, Father. Lord, I pray, agreeing with the Holy Spirit and with the church, I pray for my beloved friend of God. Lord, let your plan and purpose for the life of Fawaz prevail, O God, in Jesus' name. Lord, let your mercy and your grace overwhelm Fawaz so that he may be saved. Father, in Jesus' name, let your mercy and your grace overwhelm him, O God. Overwhelm him. Lord, I pray every financial breakthrough. Lord, above all, that you would reveal yourself to him, O God, in a supernatural way. You would reveal yourself. Lord, and we will, Lord, I will hear the good news that you have revealed yourself to him, O God. Lord, that you will grant me this uh, great joy this great news, O God, to my ears, O God, that He has seen you. He has seen you, O God. He has seen you. Lord, I thank you, O God. Thank you, God. Church, let's thank God for answering our prayers. Let us all thank God. Father, thank you that you are an awesome God. Lord, it is, uh, Lord, you have asked us to pray. We prayed in the name of Jesus Christ. We believe that you have answered and uh, the manifestation will take place. Our joy will be full, O God. Our joy will be full. Our joy will be full. Father, thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.